Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cindy Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have three teams for you for the Fang More Faction event. A high level team, a mid level team, and a low level team. And I tried to make it a little bit fun, a little bit underground, a little bit underrated. At least on a couple of them. The mid level and the high level. So here is the high level team. As you can see, something you usually don't see, I'm pretty sure. We got the Osha's Tome, we got Aquarius, we got Aquaticus, and we have the Mirage Queen. I made this team up when Aquarius came into the game. Not trying to say Aquarius is good or anything, I never said that. I just think this team is fun. Uh, you got the Mirage Queen starting your whole team with 50% mana. You got the Osha's Tome, which is a great weapon for a blue team. You have Aquarius, who does damage to, like, four random enemies. It hits pretty hard. Uh, I think boosted by Submerge or something like that, too. And then um, Aquaticus does kind of the same thing, but then blows up a bunch of, like, blue on the board. I don't use her that much, but something like that. And also Submerges on, like, four or five gym match. Um, I might not be getting all this perfectly correct. It's just a fun team. Try it out for yourself. Elementalist class... Double blue yellow banner, I think, and uh, it's super fun in my opinion. Um, you can you get up that uh, Osha's tome, like match a yellow or a blue real quick, cast it. It'll get up the whole rest of your team, and then you can mess around with like, should I cast Aquarius first or should I cast Aquaticus first? And then you also look for the uh, Mirage Queen conversions while you're at it. So pretty fun. Gets the job done, we'll get you through the event, get you to level 90, get you all rewards. Will it take you to level 500? It probably could, I don't know. It, I haven't never tried it, so I can't say for sure. By the way, uh, something we've never tried before, how are y'all doing in the Epic Trials? I'm on the very last battle right now. Um, if you're having trouble... I have a video out right now about uh, the Kingdom Stars and how there's a bug. There's another kind of bug where you can run a Noma Palooza during the Epic Trials if you're that desperate to get get it uh, beaten. Um, would never, ever, ever recommend you waste a Noma Palooza when it's not a Vault event. But if you're just itching and scratching your neck to get the Epic Trials done, you could try running a Noma Palooza. But my advice don't do that that noma palooza is way too valuable to waste on a stinky epic trial all right here is the other team it's pretty similar this is the mid-level team first team was the high level team this team is the mid-level team it's pretty similar we have the osha's tome we have the mirage queen but in the middle we have shagaroth shagaroth is super fun does damage to the first and last enemies it enrages a random uh, ally i think um I don't know when, but it does. <laughs> and then uh, blows up a bunch of gems on the board, too. And it makes a cool noise when you cast it. It's like screams. So it's really fun to use just for the, the audio thing that it does, the, the scream. Um, it gets the job done, too. We had a blue and red restriction, so there's many other options. I always do this when I make these videos. Since I'm making a couple quirky, underrated, fun teams, I'm going to let you know the high-level meta teams, too, right? So... High King Iron Gut Zulgoth is definitely one you could do. Um, Faux Mag is available. You could do that as well. And then if you're a low-level player, any kind of Rowan team would be fine. So Rowan, we got the Mirage Queen. You got King Aberon. Uh, and use Rowan with Shield of Raskaya. Um, something like that. And then for your... Like, since we don't have Leprechaun, you could use the Harpy Mage if you need to. Remember, anytime you don't have Leprechaun, look for that Harpy Mage. It's second turn empowered, Exploder. It's really nice. But that Shag Shagaroth team is pretty much self-explanatory. Pretty similar to the first team. So, yeah, if you don't have Aquarius or you don't have Aquaticus, try the uh, double Shagaroth. It's really fun and satisfying. Here is the low-level team. So if you're a low-level player, you can get gargoyles in the underworld at the hall of guardians if you do not have gargoyles from hall of guardians yet you may just want to not do this and go work on your underworld go open your kingdoms go open your classes go do your world quests go do all your class quests do all that stuff get in a good guild uh do your city of thieves three times a day and then maybe in the future once you have all the nice underworld troops you would try to do this faction event 
Because if you don't have gargoyles, you're really, really low in the game. You're really, you're probably under level 250 or so. So if you, if you're a low level player, you should have gargoyles. But if you don't, use a Rowan team. Whatever your Rowan team is, throw it on there. If you have to replace something, replace it with maybe Harpy Mage, um, Mirage Queen. You could do, and then Shield of Skya. Not in that order, but those troops would be pretty good with Rowan. Uh, but yeah, the Gargoyles are really nice. Uh, we got Geomancer class, starts them with 50% mana. We got the Harpy Mage, second turn Empowered Exploder. We got the um, Mountain Crusher, like always. Mountain Crusher is awesome. Low rarity, low mana cost, really good mana generating weapon. So yeah, put in the comments how you're doing in the Epic Trials. Like I said, I'm on the very last battle right now, level 350 or whatever. I'm going to do that one on live stream tomorrow, 11 a.m. EST. Come see me get frustrated because I am, it is taking me quite a few tries. So come watch 11 a.m. EST on Wednesday, Epic Trial, last battle. Like, share, subscribe, consider joining helps a lot. Tell your good about the channel comment below. Peace.